1964, I was in the ninth grade in Baltimore, and I used to go to this teen center on Saturday nights. And one Saturday night, actually it was still 63, just before Christmas, I went and walked up to my friends, and they were talking about beetle haircuts. One of them said, I bet I got a beetle before you do. And I said, what's a beetle? And they said, well, it's this rock group from England. You've got to see their hair. And I thought to myself, rock and roll in England? That night when I went to bed, I turned on the radio, and this song was on. I never heard anything like it. No song had ever affected me like that before. I still can't describe it. Then the announcer comes on and says, yeah, that was the Beatles. Great music, guys, but those haircuts got to go. You couldn't get the record right away. I must have bought one of the first copies ever sold in the US. This is it. This is also the first picture I ever saw of them. I thought they were so cool. And I must have played the record 10,000 times the first week. Maybe 20,000. I don't know. I'll never forget the night they were on Ed Sullivan. I was so excited I couldn't sit down. Until then, the Beatles were just music and still pictures. That night, they came alive. Their music captured what we were feeling so well that I felt like I had written their songs somehow. I really began to identify with them, especially John. I decided I wanted to do what he did. Two weeks after the Ed Sullivan show, I had my first guitar. When I was younger, so much younger than today, never needed anybody's help in any way. And now these days are gone, and I'm not so self-assured. Now I find a change of mind opens up the door. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. From the moment I first heard the Beatles, I was never the same again. Nothing was ever the same again. Everything changed. It was as if we'd been waiting for them all along. A lot of people said they wouldn't last, but we knew they would. They were a revolution, instant generation gap. We took all our cues from them, haircuts, clothes. What would we have ever done without them? Chris Saunders, News 8.